few minutes too. A very warm welcome to this Eucharist on the Wednesday of Holy Week. Today, many of you will be receiving at home and uh, won't be able to receive the bread and the wine. And so I invite you today to be involved in spiritual communion. That's the term historically used to describe the means of grace by which a person prevented for any reason in sharing in the Eucharist, nonetheless shares in deep communion with Christ in their hearts and lives. And when we come to the sharing of the bread and the wine, um, I will say a couple of short prayers to, to help you to do that at home. I'm joined here today um, by Chris and by Katie, who are sharing in me in the lockdown and um, will be um, helping us by readings and prayers during the service. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to, to whom all hearts, hearts are open, open all, all desires, desires known, known and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ died to sin once and for all and now lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now may the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Gloria. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We join together in the collect. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The readings for today. The first reading is taken from Acts chapter 3. While the man held on to Peter and John, all the people were astonished and came running to them in the place called Solomon's Colonnade. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? 
Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we have made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed, and you disowned him before Pilate, though he had decided to let him go. You disowned the Holy and Righteous One, and asked that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man, whom you see and know, was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did your leaders, but this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah, who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. For Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from their people. Indeed, beginning with Samuel, all the prophets who had spoken have foretold these days, and you are heirs of the prophets and of the covenant God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, Through your offspring all peoples on earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Psalm 8. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised. Out of the mouths of babes at the breast, you have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your, your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels and crown him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia. He has defeated the powers of death. Alleluia. Jesus turns our sorrow into dancing. Alleluia. He has the words of eternal life. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then the two disciples told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognised by them when he broke the bread. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking that they saw a ghost. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he said this, he showed them his hands and feet, and while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, 
This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. And then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We hold silence to reflect on the Gospel. Katie is going to come and lead us in some prayers. We pray to Jesus who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Jesus, Lord of life, in your, your mercy, mercy hear, hear us. us. Jesus, bread of life, the, um, the food, give food to the hungry and nourish us with your word. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear, hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life, be with us and all who follow you in the way. Uh, deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear, hear us. us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, Recover the um, struggler, blind, uh, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy strong and strong to new pastures. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy hear us. us. Um, Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you raise us with them to eternal life jesus lord of life in, in your mercy hear us accept our prayers and be with us always amen the two disciples told what had happened on the road to emmaus and how Jesus had made them, himself known to them in the breaking of bread. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. If you are at home with others, you may wish to offer to each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
the Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because through him you have given us eternal life and delivered us from the bondage of sin and the fear of death until the glorious liberty of the children of God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and his glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your son, our Lord. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and, and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death, death until, until he, he comes. comes. Jesus, Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. feast. Alleluia.
Jesus for me. may wish to make one of these prayers your own prayer. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly love you more dearly and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, fill me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From darkness protect me, at the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you in all eternity. Amen. 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 God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection has delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who out of defeat brings new hope and a new future, fill you with his new life and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in his peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.